We are back at the Forest of Fallen Giants, and we just talked to this cartographer who gave us a key, house key. Majuda served as a dumping ground for horrible things. Yeah, and this is the uh, mansion that was um, that was still locked, and uh, Leningrad's key. We know about that already. And the soul over there, or an item rather. I do wonder, uh, where did that boulder go? <laughs> Scared the living daylights out of me last time. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> That's a scary corner right there. <laughs> Let me guess. Yep. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> so I guess that's where uh where the boulder went. Back outside? Or was there more? Let me check real quick. Nah, that's it. Nothing down there. Snipers, you deserved it. There's another item. Uh, and one more over there. And one behind the gate. Nice. There's another one. Uh, not this way. <laughs> How do I get off this? Oh no! <laughs> Shit. Ah uh, yeah. Watch your step. Here again. Let's go down here. Ouch. Should really kill the one before I kill the other. Bastard sword. Nice. That's the one. We're not strong enough.
This is really annoying me. I mean, <laughs> damn it. When you uh, press the right thumbstick in order to uh, lock on to an enemy <laughs> and there's nothing to lock on to, then the camera spins around and centers your vision to your character, which is uh, <laughs> kind of annoying if you actually wanted to keep looking over your shoulder or whatever. God damn it, why did I activate you? Fuck. That was brutal. <laughs> These guys, I... <clears throat> they continue to be the biggest pain in the neck I have. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's the point. <laughs> Um, they are nothing like uh, like the other grunts in Dark Souls 1 and to, to a certain extent this is of course better because they all react different differently even though they look the same god damn it and they all have different weaponry like this one he had a halberd and I wasn't used to the range he has so that took me by surprise. That kind of stuff, you know. And where th when there's more than one, well, two maybe you can handle, but more than two, it's just pure chaos because you really can't, uh, you can't um, plan ahead with them. I mean, I don't know all of their moves, um, or, you see, okay, that, that was clearly my fault, but, um, I don't know each and every one of these royal guards' patterns and their weapons, I can't, there's, there's just too many of them to keep in mind. So, in a way, <laughs> these, um, whoa, I never even realized, would you look at that monster, I, I didn't even see him, how many times did I, <laughs> did I slide down this ladder and never, ever did I pick up on that, <laughs> crazy, maybe he's the next boss. Yeah, um, like I said, these guards are, if that was the intent, and I'm sure it is, it, it, it has been, it's really ingenious. <laughs> because it makes running through an area almost impossible when there's more than one. It doesn't... It, prevents it from being tedious as well. But of course it's going to be very hard. Like this guy. I uh. <laughs> want one a hell of a another one. God damn it. It's not just me. <laughs> Believe me, it's really goddamn hard. I mean, I know I suck, but... I'm supposed to be... Uh, slowed down by them. There's supposed to be a roadblock. It really just takes one moment of... Uh, carelessness to get pinned down by more than one, or even one just 
uh, there are some guys who can who can just uh, stun lock you with a few hits, and you're done for. <laughs> Dark Souls One uh, grunts were a lot easier to to deal with. They're basically just two, well, actually three. Um, the the normal hollow. I guess warriors, the waste loss and everything, and they uh, were really just nothing. You could, they, they almost had no kind of battle AI. They just stood there and took hits. Basically. Then there were the Hollow Knights, which were some of them had um, decent moves, but they were very slow and they. Um, you were kind of stuck, or rather, they they found it hard to move and uh, react, so that was pretty easy to deal with. Some of them had a nasty habit of uh, just hiding behind their shields all the time, but that was supposed to teach you how to guard block. Uh, I mean, guard break. So that's okay. And the third uh, variant were um, just normal hollows, but with torches, and they were a lot more confident and uh, <laughs> tended to um, gang up on you. But these Dark Souls 2 guys, they're something else. I dare say they're the most... Um, They're the most annoying, <laughs> uh, the most annoying enemies so far. I'm not gonna fight you up there if you can't can't come down. Okay, onwards we go. Okay, um, this stuff. One more time. Whoops. Hmm. I don't really know how to deal with this room because uh, when they storm out it's really dangerous. I mean they are not just... that's the thing, they're even very fast. Okay. Ah damn it. I wanna kill these guys from when they're still down. <sighs> Almost died again. No! Don't kill me! Uh, okay. Now. Oh, another one. And then, then there's uh, this big guy. That's what I thought. <laughs> we should be able to just um, get this big guy over here and shoot him from a distance. But first, gotta get rid of the, you guys.
damn it. Takes so much stamina. But, um. That's very true to life, actually. Okay, then, um. Let's get this a little more cleared up. hope this works. <laughs> mm, not quite. Oh, he's retreating. Don't go away. <laughs> I hope he didn't... Uh... Well, what's down there? I hope he didn't uh, catch wind of my plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, no, he's coming back. Okay. Suits me fine. Just don't have. Can't, uh. Yeah, very nice. Very cool. more where this came from. Ah, he went around. <sighs> Not fast enough. Ah, <laughs> now he's going back. Yeah! Awesome! Old ironclad helm. Nice. Mm hmm. Wait, what? Should be okay. Had a lot more, um, a lot more reduction. Damage reduction. Yeah. There's a message missing here. Yeah, laying down messages is a big part of the game. <laughs> if only I knew what for. <laughs> been here yet. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Of course. Life jump. Homeward bone. Always nice to see. Mm -hmm. Before we go any further, let's go through here. What do we have here? Of course you wake up. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you gonna come to life? <laughs> Giant butthole, yeah. By now I do get it. You're very creative. That looks awesome. Okay, um, what do we have up there?
light crossbow. Equip up to two types of bows. Interesting. I mean, two types of bolts. Yeah. Don't have any? Well, I don't have any equipped. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Well, might as well equip, equip the bolts. Ah, uh, that's bad. You know... <laughs> crossbows are very... Um, are not very useful. <laughs> because you can't aim them. You can just uh, lock onto a target and then shoot. Oh, okay, something down there killed you. So let's go here first. But there's nothing here. I wonder what these uh, sconces are. Wait a second. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, one of you guys. Again. I wonder what these sconces are for there. I mean, uh, just to light up the place? I mean, why would you want to light at that uh, dead end? Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Got killed by enemies, not the chest. Mail breaker. These menus, man, they're going to be the death of me. Yeah, the mail breaker just isn't my style. Wasn't really good in the first game, still isn't. Okay, uh, to go down there. Why don't you... Uh huh. Wouldn't go up that step unless I, uh, use an attack. Uh, do I have to jump down there? No. Well. There's no other way out, but <laughs> we can make another way out. Poof. Okay. However, now, well, maybe talk to her again. Maybe there's some new you stock. Yeah, we have this one already. Lively times, they are. Oh, yes. Yeah, back to Majula, we have, uh, we still have a job to do over there. There's a certain key we got. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wonder what's inside.
Hmm. He said something about a huge map, but uh, that looks more like a book. Right item. Oh yeah. Treasure ahead. I guess so. Pharos's lockstone. Pharos the Vagabond was a legend who wandered the lands, creating contraptions to help those in sincere and dire need. Okay. Also, these noises, <laughs> they do nothing to calm me down. <laughs> oh, wait. It's you. God damn it. <laughs> The game made me afraid of pigs again. <sighs> you don't say. Nice. <laughs> They're charging again. These guys. Yeah, that's the th that's the same balcony. Was that all? Because if so, that'd be pretty lame. No, I guess it isn't. Wow. How many people died in here? Jeez. Holy shit. Is that a boss waiting for me? <laughs> okay, wasn't expecting that. Visions of danger zone, but confidence required. Welp. We'll use our best confidence. <laughs> okay. If I know my skeletons, these are dealing bleed damage. Or bleed build up. If you're not careful, you're gonna lose um, lose quite a bit of health just by letting that shit build up. Human effigy, always appreciated. Okay, what else? <laughs> what? Ah, as the flask shard, yes, 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 yes. Awesome. But was that all? I mean, why did so many people die here? Just from that skeleton? I don't think so. Oh well, that's the end of that chapter. Yeah. So, uh, next time, I'm planning on taking on the Dragon Rider. Seriously. I think we've gone long enough <laughs> in this game <laughs> without an actual. 
to see light. However, Without an actual boss fight, I mean defeated boss. So uh, I guess a little more health couldn't hurt. Yeah. And uh, also we have some more Estus Flask fuses now. So I'm... come on. So I'm actually a lot more confident now to actually being able to beat him. So uh, yeah, next time will be a lot more action-packed, so stay tuned.